hey guys welcome back and today we are going to be doing a valentine's day design and i'm actually going to use the Finny beauty lazy girl method but before we uh get started with that i'm going to go ahead and prime and prep my nails i've already taken my previous set off and gotten that all filed off and everything and then i'm going to use this silicone mold here in the front and i'm going to make a silicone little heart well not a silicone heart but a gel polish heart for uh, each one of my nails that are going to have that design on there and i'm just going to walk you guys through that process this is something new i've never tried this before um i got the silicone mold in my february nail boxy and i will show you guys that in a moment Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is put some top coat in the mold first, and I got this tip from Anna Louisa, co-founder of Nailboxy, and then I'm gonna use my Beatles gel polish and fill the mold up till I get it, you know, all the way to the top and to what, you know, the desired amount that I want to make it a full, beautiful, sparkly heart. And then I'm gonna use a cuticle pusher to clean up the outside for any that may have spilled up around the outside of the mold. And then once I finish with that, I'm gonna put it in my UV lamp. I did it for about 60 seconds just because I wanted to make sure it was actually fully cured. And here is my nail boxy from February. It came with all of this stuff, and I will leave the link down below if you would like to subscribe to Nail Boxy. It's $29.99 a month, and every month you get a box full of gorgeous items, uh, gel polishes, different kind of thing. I've gotten gel polish, I've gotten glitters, I've gotten um, all kind of confetti and just different things to use. So right now, I'm going to size up my nails. Uh, these are full cover tips that I got from AliExpress. If I can find the link, I will link them down below. And I'm going to just find each one for my nails to make sure they fit properly. If you can't find any that fit properly, get the one closest to your size. And if you have to, just kind of file around the cuticle area just to make it fit. Um, what I actually do is once I put them on, I take my e-file and go around the cuticle area just to make sure that everything is flush and everything is going to be on point and not pile off or flip off. Because you know, if you have any type of lifting, that's how we lose our nails. And so we want to make sure they stay on for as long as possible. Okay, so the mold is done so i'm going to take it out and pop the little heart out and look at how cute that is it was so easy to do and now i have a little part to put on my nails and i'm going to show you exactly how i'm going to put that on so if you're not familiar with the Femi beauty lazy girl method um basically use poly gel or builder gel or base coat like i'm using to adhere your nails so i put the base coat on and then i'm going to put the nail on top of that make sure there's no air bubbles and I'm gonna hold it and then put it under my lamp. And then here I am making another heart because I forgot I should've made them both at the same time. Um, but I'm gonna actually do the same design on both nails for once. I know I haven't done that in a while. So that's what I'm doing here. So you may have noticed that I did not put um, the nails on my ring finger because I am going to be doing some encapsulation with these nails. So I'm going to put them on my nail stand and then I'm actually going to take my e-file and take the shine from the inside um, because shine doesn't stick to shine. Uh, if you follow Nailboxy on Instagram, you heard Emma Lisa say that, I think it was earlier this week. Um, but that is a very important tip because that's how your gel polish will separate from the nail, your base coat and stuff will separate from nails. So I'm just going to rough the inside up and then I am going to put some base gel 
on the inside and then I'm going to put in my glitter and then cure it and then take it out and then we're going to use the poly gel to go over it and then I'm going to put the nail on with the poly gel um, just so it'll stay longer and it'll look so pretty. Just watch. It's going to be amazing when I'm done. Glitter is from Nail Boxy, uh, the February box as well as from Daily Charm and it's hearts and crosses and just really, really pretty and holographic and just adds an amazing touch to the nails. add a little bit more so I use this daily charm glitter that came in my either January or December box I can't remember um, I want to say it came in my January box um, but it is really pretty and kind of clear glitter and then I'm also going to use some glitter that came from the December box that is from the nail candy shop I believe and it's a uh, like pink holographic glitter and it just adds a nice touch with the glitter hearts that came from daily charm pretty much everything that i'm using to do this set came from nail boxy except for the clear poly gel and the beetles gel polish uh the base gel that i used came from the january box and this is the glitter that came from the December box. It is so pretty, I love it. It's a Christmassy type glitter, but I'm not using the Christmas pieces. I'm just kind of using the um, pink pieces to kind of add a little bit extra to the nail. So after curing, I'm going to kind of tap them to make sure that everything is good. And so now I'm going to squeeze a little bit of the poly gel and put it into the nail. And then take my poly gel brush and my alcohol and pat it out. Um, I kind of made it thin towards the end because eventually what I'm going to do is clip off a little bit of the length. Um, because they're a little long and I have to tighten things for work. So I'm going to clip them off and file them, but I don't take the poly gel all the way down because of that purpose. Once I'm done, I'm going to put the nail onto my real nail and then I'm going to put it into the lamp and cure it on so that it stays on. And now I'm going to use the Daily Charm polish that came in my February nail boxy. And it is so pretty, you guys. Oh my gosh, it, like the color is beautiful. The name of the color is Whimsical. The number is H85, and it is on the Daily Charm website, or you can go and subscribe to Nailboxy this month while it's still February, and you will get it in this month's box. And so I'm just gonna paint all the nails. I'm gonna do about uh, two to three coats because it's kind of sheer, and I wanted it to be a little more um colorful i guess uh, more coverage basically is what i wanted so i'm going to do a couple of coats and cure
to adhere the hearts that we made in the mold, I'm going to take some of the McCart Clear Poly Gel, because that is the clear that I'm using, and I'm going to put a dollop of that on, and then I'm going to press the heart into the poly gel. Then I'm going to take my poly gel brush and kind of clean up the outsides and flatten everything around it so everything is not all lumped up on the nail and so it looks pretty and seamless. You can also use this method to adhere like your bigger stones and crystals. Um, it'll help them stay on very, very well, I promise. And we're gonna do that for both nails and then we're gonna cure after we get everything cleaned up and it's just gonna look amazing. Okay, so I've cleaned them up and now I'm going to cure them and look how pretty they are. So I'm going to use these uh, stickers that I got from a past nail boxy that I ordered. It was one of the nail boxies from last year, I can't remember which one, uh, to help make a design with the heart. And you guys, I struggled. I had to get my six year old to help me um, put these on and they were still a little crooked, but it came out really, really great. And to adhere my stones, these are some Rossi crystals that I've gotten from various nail boxes. I'm going to use the Dulce Sprinkles Gem Gel or Gem Glue, I believe it's called, or Glue Gel. And it came in a previous nail boxy as well. This is what I used to adhere my stones. I'm going to put the glue uh, gel on and then I'm going to use top coat over it. And this is Libra Nails top coat that came from... I'll say it was December nail boxy as well or January it may have been January um if you go to Nailboxy's Instagram or their website you can see where all this stuff came from I've been getting them for almost a year now so I get all mixed up uh, and then once I get it on and the nail then we're going to start putting on the crystals and then I'm going to use some caviar beads to go around the crystal to make it look like it's kind of like a diamond or like a kind of like a ring design but you'll see when I'm done it ends up being really pretty
take some of these tiny stickers from the February nail box and put them on the corners of the nail just to give like a little more accent before I put top coat on. Y'all, yeah, these stickers are so pretty. I didn't want to use any of the bigger ones. It already had that really big heart on there and those uh, glitter hearts. And now we're going to top coat all the nails and cure them and see how pretty this glitter is. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Um, and from the Daily Charm nail polish. Okay, so now we're going to top coat the glitter nail. And as always with clear, you also want to flip your hand over and top coat the underside to help it be super, super clear. Even though my cart is already like the clearest poly gel ever. And then we're going to finish top coating and curing all the nails. Y'all, I love this set. They came out so, so pretty. So, Nailboxy is doing a nail design contest. So that is why, uh, another reason why I did a Valentine's Day inspired set because I wanted to enter the contest and hopefully I win. And guys, just look, it's so, so pretty. It's like the lighting that I have in here is doing no justice. So this is the Bio Seaweed uh, Gel Cuticle Oil. And I actually ordered this and then I actually won it from Nailboxy. So I have two of these cuticle oils and they're so pretty with the flowers inside and they smell so relaxing and just make my nails look so healthy. So guys, look at the finished product, oh my gosh are so pretty don't forget to like comment and subscribe and share this video with everyone and be on the lookout for my instagram post for my entry for the nail boxy contest and thanks for watching